like as I was shaving this morning, I saw all of this back here. I was like, hopefully it's gonna be a long wig. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> I was doing a, an interview and somebody turned on the lights and the house lights and there were floors. So I'm like, no, 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 sorry, no, girl. Turn those lights off. Yeah, no. <laughs> Fluorescent lighting is not a drag queen's best friend. Kelly Klein is transforming me and several other people into gorgeous drag queens. glue. <laughs> you literally are just layering it on the eyebrows. What you're trying to do is push it in between the eyebrows and along the shape of the eyebrow to make it flat. Don't forget the middle. I got a unibrow right now. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> when did you first start playing with makeup? When did you realize that it had some power. Oh gosh. I was going to JCPenney's and there was a, a man, makeup artist, and I was like, a man doing makeup? And he's like transforming this woman? It was amazing. If he can do that, maybe I can do the same thing. So I applied for a job to be a brush cleaner. And then one week he didn't come in and they didn't have a makeup artist. So I just took it upon myself to try doing makeup on one of our clients and uh, it just came very natural to me. I tell people I'm not good at makeup, I'm gifted. I find great pleasure in helping people feel as beautiful as they can. Because, you know, the moment you feel beautiful, everything changes. Do you have, um, like, a favorite celebrity that you like to do yourself? Oh, well. My inspirations growing up for makeup were Linda Carter, Vanessa Williams, Joan Collins from the series Dynasty, which I'm sure you don't even know what that is because you're probably a little baby. <laughs> I don't know that last. <laughs> <laughs> These were all the women who are very well known for the elegance or confidence and their overall beauty. But they were my absolute inspiration for makeup because they weren't afraid to wear makeup how it made them feel comfortable. People don't recognize you, you do. You can get away and, with a whole yep. lot of things. That's why drag is so powerful. It lets you become anybody you want to be. Yeah, that's what happens. One of the biggest <laughs> whores, but you know that happens too. But. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about myself, no, not everybody else. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about Holly over there. <laughs> <laughs> Such an amateur move. Yeah. I got the eye of the You are known as the Wonder Woman of drag all over Austin and Texas and beyond. How did you become the Wonder Woman of drag? It started out as a joke. What? Yes. I started working at this saint in San Antonio, Texas, which is like this legendary club. And the owner said, everybody needs a catchphrase. And I was like, well, what the hell do I do? So one of my best friends, Jenny McCall, said, oh my God, you're the Wonder Woman of drag. And I was like, holy shit, I love that. I got the eye of the tiger. Eye of the through the fire. When I discovered that I wanted to be a woman, that's how I always felt in my life, 
I didn't have anybody teach me how to be a woman. We were basically raised that boys act a certain way and girls act the other ways, and pardon my French, but you know, fags act, act another way. In my mind, I always said, if I want to be a woman, I want to be a woman who is beautiful, who's intelligent, who's kind, who has long, beautiful, flowing hair. So, Linda Carter, she made me realize that I can be anything that I want to be, and she tries to inspire not only women, but just people in general that you can fight adversity with education, with kindness. Nails, hair, hips, heels, ass, fat, lips, real, purse, full, big bills, bitch, I'm a big deal. Wow, like you're ring Because I wanted to be very different than everybody else's, but yeah. because you're such a gender woman, I always wanted to be like, oh my god, she went all out. <laughs> yeah. So it's cool to cover your brows. I want to do yes. top and bottom lashes on yours. Okay. Do you know, um, I want to do, you know who tricks him sell kimchi from Drag Race are? No, I don't. I'll show you. I'll use different colors, but I just want to use this as an inspiration yes. kind of the style. Right Absolutely. Here, so. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Yes. Going to the bathroom when you're in drag has to be one of the most difficult. <laughs> oh, it is. Yeah. It's like, how do the queens even go to the bathroom when they're performing? Yeah, it seems like definitely a whole ordeal for sure. We come up with creative ways. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever had fillers? Um, just in my lips, but I don't get, um, the last time I had them was maybe like a year and a half ago. As you can tell, I've never had any fillers in my, anywhere in my body. <laughs> <laughs> no, I look great I'm though. all for it, girl, I don't care. Uh, whatever makes people feel yeah, comfortable I'm, and happy. Yeah, I feel like for a lot of younger, like younger people in general, but especially like younger women to be like, hey, do whatever you want, but also know that like, most of the people that you like on Instagram, that's not <laughs> like, it's cool if you want to like augment or do whatever, absolutely do whatever makes you happy, but just know that like that's not like if you don't do that or if you, you know, whatever, that that's not representing reality for the most part. Absolutely. You want to know what the worst thing is about all these filter trends and filler trends and surgery trends? Mm -hmm. If you look like your pictures, knock yourself out. But then when you filter something so much, you show up, you're like, this is not who we yeah. hired. Yeah, yeah. I feel like life is here to be like, have fun and do what you want. And if you want to fix something, absolutely go for it. But like, make sure that it's like your decision whether you want to do something or not do something. I always tell people, do your research, do your homework. And if you feel like you can do it, then do it. And if not, it's okay to change your mind. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to hit 10 years, oh July 1st. Oh my God. I know. It's so funny, we met on Tumblr. Oh, really? Before Tumblr was a porn thing. And then now, I don't think it's a porn thing anymore, but. I don't even think it exists, does it? I don't know. I, I deleted my account. <laughs> but You don't need it anymore. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, I got Twitter. True <laughs> <laughs> sure that. But um, no, it was like, uh, I had recently moved to Austin and I was like searching the hashtag ATX just trying to find like what to do. Um, I think I was in my first semester and I came across him on there and I was just like, oh my God, who is this hottie? And the rest is history. Wow. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, what about this? What about this? Like I'm always, I'm, I'm not really, I'm really good at like coming up with off the wall or crazy ideas, I, I think. And Edgar's the realist who's like, babe, um, oh. I hate to break it to you. And then every once in a while, he'll be like, bitch, <laughs> like, get it together. <laughs> like, Thanks, babe. Thank you. We love you, Edgar. Yes. I'll give you a little extra if you get rid of the wrinkles. <laughs> oh, girl. <laughs> They're called expression lines, by the way. Oh, I call them experience. <laughs> I 
I'm new in town. Mm -hmm. And I'm a virgin. <laughs> I need someone to show me the ways. <laughs> Bitch, you're off. Oh. <laughs> I just have to say that at least in, in front of me, drag has changed your personality drastically. <laughs> You want me to duck my hand? Mm-hmm. If you'll hold. Okay, well, bitch, she got it. Toss it back, girl. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's just help me blend and stuff. We'll style her in a minute. They wanna be me. I am the fantasy. Welcome to the world of drag, hun. Close your eyes. Oh, that smells wonderful. Just takes a little bit of powder and paint. A little bit of powder and paint. She's just wearing chopstick and a little lash, honey. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> that was fabulous. That was fabulous. Go take a look, girl. Yes. Wow. That is incredible. I've never looked this good. <laughs> Not every weekend, a new girl in town. Yes. Honey. They'll just have to come up and see me sometime. Yes. Mm. I totally trust your judgment on anything, so. Cause I can make this a little bit bigger to look more like disco era. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, I'm cool with this one. Okay, let's do that. And I know you look really weird. I'm oh, no, no, don't apologize. <laughs> I think it's fun. Okay, cool thing. Should I take this off? Yes, or you want to do it? Okay. go right ahead. Thank you. Yeah. It just, it'll just help me with the placement of color and stuff, so. Yeah, for sure. If anybody's watching this, say these are just my markers. Because <laughs> it looks kind of trippy right now. <laughs> yeah. You're like, there's a method to the madness. Trust. Yes, I promise. <laughs> and it's funny, too, because I feel like with makeup, especially something like this, you're seeing it at these different stages, and then it, when it comes together, it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. But it's like you're seeing just these different parts of it, and you're like... We wanted to make her look really, really over the top. I do my makeup every day and I like wear like a medium amount of makeup, so it's really fun to do something like that's pretty wild. I was like, I think I went cross eyed for a second because I was trying to like <laughs> look like straight through you, but I was like, wait, did I just go? <laughs> it's gotta be on camera me just like whoop. <laughs> Just looking super glam over here with my crossed eyes. Don't worry about it. Drag though, if you're like, for me to like wear drag makeup, how does that work? Would it still technically be? Because I guess if I was drag king, then it would be. But no, you it, it is drag. Um, for example, me, I'm a transgender woman, yeah. but drag is what I do. Yeah, you said I'm so excited. And it's so like funny too. It's kind of surreal, like feeling everything go on your face, but like having no idea like what it's like she could have been using like blue and green this whole time and I like look like a sea monster and I have no oh, idea. She did. <laughs> yeah, you're like, you didn't know that that's what she was doing. Sure did. I'm sorry, she made you a sexy lizard. Hope that's cool. <laughs> So we just have to be careful with your eyelashes with this because your eyelashes are a little natural today. Okay. Yeah. So here he's like. Yes. And hold it, hold it, hold it. 
Off the bat. Girl, you look so freaking different. Like, you better go to HEB and shop in a minute. <laughs> oh my god! That's so amazing! Oh, I love it so much! Oh my god! Go take a look! <laughs> oh my god, it's amazing! Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Whenever I was working in, you know, purely marketing for HIV and AIDS related services, and I remember to get quality, like Spanish translations oh my for God. the content, both on social media, as well as on the website, in the print materials. Yes. We, we just, we need that, especially in Austin. They're not being taken care of. I have to say that I'm, one of the things I'm most proud of right now working at Vibe and Health is that We've incorporated a Spanish healthy relationships program because I feel that there's a need for it. And they're like, well, who's going to be teaching it? Somebody who is just going to know the vocabulary. I'm like, no, it's me, you know? And it's really cool because we have somebody from Panama, somebody from Mexico, somebody from Puerto Rico. Like it's different cultures coming together and sharing their stories as to how they've overcome living with HIV. And it's been very empowering to hear how different countries have been taught to treat people for being gay or for being this or for being that has been really eye-opening. So, okay, I, I think I've told you I I grew up watching Doris Day films with my grandma, so I kind of thought maybe Day would be somewhere in the name. I don't think I'm a, a Doris, but I, think, a Doris. <laughs> but I think I could be a Day. If we took the holiday, took some time to celebrate, just one day. Before that, may I, may if I may, I think there's one thing that's important. Yes. Is something I wish people would ask me, like, what advice would you have somebody for somebody who's gone through what I've gone through, or somebody like if I was Baby Kelly, what would I be telling Baby Kelly? Oh or yeah. Something like that? Um. Okay. Um. Part of the reason why I am the Wonder Woman of drag is because. I want to be the person that I always wished was around when I was growing up. Oh my god, maybe not. Oh, Ooh, shit. Is it too much? I didn't really think it was gonna like hit me like that, sorry. Ooh, my apologies. Oh my god, I, I did not think it was gonna like bother me like that. Um, so if I was talking to young Kelly, um, I would say that you're probably going through some of the scariest things you ever imagined. You did nothing wrong to deserve what happened to you. All the things they said about you Try not to believe them because they're not true. You are worthy of love. You are worthy of success. You are worthy of an education. I know I'm talking to my younger self, but find someone to talk to and tell them what's happening. Ask them for help and if that person won't help you, ask another one. 
And if they can't help you, ask somebody else. Education is the most important, the most important thing you can do for yourself. It makes you stronger, it makes you powerful. You shouldn't have to decide whether you want to live or learn. It fucking sucks that you went through all of that. But the beautiful thing is you survived it. <laughs> I know that you have your doubts and you feel bad about yourself and you start believing everything that people said. But then you get to move out of that fucking hell and you move to a different city where you meet other people that are just like you. And they embrace you with open arms. And you have the opportunity to be an example to other people that are going through what you're going through right now. You give them a sense of hope. You show them that it does get better. You you have to make it better, but it does get better. I love you. <laughs> you are a wonderful person. You do deserve the best. You do deserve love and you are worthy of everything that you've dreamt of. Sorry. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> You're very kind, thank you. Oh. Jump in here, Kara. Okay, I was gonna let you guys get one of them. Holiday, your tits look amazing. Uh, these little things. <laughs> these little things. <laughs> hey, Charlie. What are we doing this weekend? <laughs> no, I can still do the bend and snap. I'll be there. <laughs> we hope to see you there too. I kind of just want like Dale to do all of our promo stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, like, yeah. I don't think it takes it out of it, but like, yes! <laughs> oh, girls, what? What are we doing this weekend? I don't know, what are we doing? What should we do? What? what? We need to travel. We're new in town. Just for this weekend? <laughs> Coming close. Ha ha ha!